take us through that that block and the, the half. Oh, the first field goal that they that they had attempted, I had seen it. They had opened up a hole uh, in between the wing and the end, and uh, Coach Ty's called uh, the next time I was supposed to go, and uh, so I just took advantage of the hole. Uh, I chipped up a little bit, but I got there, and uh, I just tried to make the play. Jalen said he called the shot beforehand. Is that true? And what did you tell him? Yeah, he did. He did tell me that. He said that he called it before before it happened, and uh, I mean, I guess I guess you got a little, you know, uh, lucky. What did you hear when he when he said that though? I mean, like. Was we told you that you were going to block it. Did you believe it? or? What? I mean, I guess I had to believe it. <laughs> Mickey, you guys punished uh, Francois quite a bit tonight. Did you get a sense? He's a tough guy. Took a lot of hits last season. Took some hits tonight. Did you sense if you kept pounding away at him that eventually it would take its toll? Uh, yes, sir. He is a really tough quarterback. And uh, I felt like he did a really good job with taking uh, all, the, all the blows that we, that we gave to him. And uh, he's really tough, like you said. And, uh, but we're Alabama. We put a lot on him. And, I feel bad for the guy, but you know, since football and it happens, and uh, if you hit any quarterback at the same amount of time, you're going to break. So, Nika, what was your strategy to try to stop the big team? Um, I mean, they, they, were, they had real, two real tall receivers out wide. I mean, they made a couple plays, uh, but we just got to be physical. You know, they're not going to beat us over the top of speed. They're going to beat us with uh, going up for the ball and stuff like that. And uh, like I said, they made a couple plays. They're really great uh, timing out there. And, uh, he's got to be physical with those big guys. How much was that all two team? big defenses? How, how much was it an emphasis to kind of win that battle and be the best defense? Uh, you talking about the receiver battle? No, I'm talking about like just the, the battle of two defenses. How much did you want to prove that Alabama has the best defense? Uh, we all, every time we go out on the field, we want to prove that we have the best defense no matter who we're going against. And, uh, you know, uh, Florida State, they have a great team, great defense. And I feel like we uh, established our identity a little bit and getting closer to to our goal. And uh, I think we had a lot of good things we did out there. We had a lot of bad things that we had to improve on. What do you guys do in the offseason? Because it feels like, and I asked Coach Saban this, you guys capitalize on people's mistakes like better almost than anybody in the country. And you did it in the first game again. And, and what do you guys do in the offseason? What's that process to make you ready for that, to capitalize on people's mistakes? Mainly it's just, it's just not being tired in, in the end of the game and uh, just being able to keep our mental toughness throughout the whole game. And, uh, Know what we're supposed to do and execute. Know what we're supposed to do. What we're supposed to do. What we're supposed to be done. And uh, you know, when the other guy's tired, it's not going to do his job. I feel like we're doing a whole lot of push cocking in the off season, keeping us, uh, keeping us in check, keeping us in condition. And uh, I feel like that's definitely the main thing that puts us ahead of everybody. Mickey, can you talk about the younger guys? Of some injuries went down. Some of them guys had to play some key roles. Can you talk about how they did? Uh, they did a great job. You know, we had a lot of young guys out there. Uh, there's some plays. There's a new new linebacker in every play, and I was like, what's going on? But uh, the young guys definitely did a really good job. Uh, I'm proud of them, and uh, we just got to keep improving. Did you have a feeling that a play like that was gonna spark uh, spark a comeback, or spark not not a comeback, but an improvement in the second half, the, the play at the halftime? Did you oh, feel that like a play like that was coming though? Is that, was that brewing? I mean, I, I don't know if I felt it, but I feel like we needed a play like that. And uh, luckily, we had made the play uh, as a team, and uh, we did what we were supposed to do. So, I think. Hey, can Ronnie Harrison said Alabama is back. Are you guys ever gone? Oh, um, I mean, it's Alabama. I, I, don't, I don't think we ever left, but uh, I think we established our identity. A lot of people had a lot of question marks about us going into this game. Uh, I think we kind of erased those question marks and did what we're supposed to do. Thank you. When uh, Hurts hit Ridley with that touchdown pass, that seemed to energize the defense. Yeah. Do you think that's the case? Yeah, I think we need a big play on the offense. You know, we're, we're a big play offense, and we were kind of lacking a little bit in the first half. And, uh, after we hit, hit that pass to him, I was like, ah, we're good now. Uh, we got the, the offense flow, flowing, the run game flowing, the pass game flowing, and now we're right where we need to be. And a first game like this, when the defensive line was playing as well as it was, your defense had to take a big role in this game. Yeah, yes, sir. We had a lot of young guys that stepped up, did what they were supposed to do, uh, got to the quarterback, put pressure on them, uh, hit them, and I mean, we got our hand goal. I think we did a good, 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 good game. Thanks, Mika. But uh, we have a lot to work on. Mika, does it mean a little more? Thanks, Mika.